Hi everybody, welcome to another tutorial on Chord Jam from Audio Modern. So in this video I'm going to show you how you can export um, sequences created in Chord Jam and reuse them inside Cubasis. So it's more a how-to uh, video than actually focusing on uh, on the music itself, but uh, nevertheless it shows you what um, you need to know in terms of integrating one way to integrate to Cubasis. So I have loaded Cubasis 3 here, let's click on the plus sign and let's add um, three MIDI tracks like that. So let's click the first one, let's go to the section which is MIDI effects, select top, uh, tap there, let's select chord jump like so, let's remove the list of browsers there so we have more space. Let's click on reset to ensure that we start from fresh. We have a C key, scale type minor, which is okay. Then we have chord type. Uh, let's change that to an augmented. Let's try it. Which is nice. And let's go down an octave, like so. Sounds better. Let's enable the sequencer, like so. Now, I want to have to generate some, something random, so let's select random as a groove. Let's increase the number of steps, something like uh, eight would be fine. Then um, <clears throat> let's perhaps add some other notes, like so. Let's try them as well. Yeah, that sounds fine. Let's generate a sequence, like so, and let's play and, and see what it sounds like. That's fine, sounds great. So let's click here on the preset where it says save sequencer. Let's um, give it a name, something like um, one chord, like so. Let's click on save. Perfect. Let's close this. Now, let's click on ARP there and let's play like this. That's fine. So uh, let's go to Preset again, uh, let's give it another name, and let's um, say ARP like so, and click on save. Let's close that. Now, let's go lower by two octave. Let's stay on random, but um, let's disable uh, voices three and two. Let's leave only the first one. Let's click play. That's great. So let's go on preset and let's call that um, one base and let's click save. Perfect. Now let's click on one chord on the MIDI icon. Let's save these as um, one chord. Click enter. We're saving on the MIDI files folder. Let's click save. Perfect. Let's do the same thing on the ARP as well. So we call these one ARP and we save these as well. Then let's do finally these for the base and we call these one base. Okay, and we click save. Now, um, let's close these, let's disable the MIDI effect and um, let's close it all. Uh, we still have a loop on the find there. Let's click play. There's nothing there. That's okay. Let's go to media. Let's go to MIDI, MIDI files, import uh, files, and let's select the uh, base first. Okay. Let's repeat the process and um, let's import the uh, ARP. And then let's repeat the process. And let's finally import the chord, like so. Perfect. Let's open the media bay again. MIDI files, we have these three. So click and hold on the base, move up there, like so. Perfect. And we have the base. Let's do the same on the chord. Click and hold, move up there. Perfect. Let's select now the ARP. Click and hold, move it up there. Okay. Let's close these. Now let's change a little bit the preset here on the base and let's select um, uh, something like perhaps uh, that soft base there. Okay. Let's uh, go on uh, the second one where we have chords. Why don't we go for something uh, um, 
like these warm parts here, okay? And um, and let's leave it like that for now. And let's um, let's try. That's the bass. Okay, let's change the piano perhaps for something uh, like um, uh, a clean, uh, I don't know, um, a clean electric guitar. Okay, like so, let's go to the media, let's go to the, uh, actually, let's stay on the drum. Let's go to the drum loops and um, <clears throat> let's um, bring these, um, let's scroll up here. Let's bring these 80 bits chorus there, click and hold, uh, like that. And let's play. Let's uh, select the electric guitars. Let's go inside, insert effects, and let's um, add perhaps a reverb. Okay, as you can see, very straightforward. And uh, this is one way you could integrate uh, uh, chord jump inside Cubase is free. And I also demonstrated how you can export uh, um, your uh, uh, sequences, uh, your um, chord jumps that you, you have created. Okay, I hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Bye.